welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Mm -hmm. It's a little show. We sit down with your favorite comedian, and we find that if they grew up to be classy, yeah. or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Mm -hmm. I'm your host, Stage Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Aunt Tony's basement. She's upstairs, glued to the television, watching the UFO hearings. Okay. Yeah, she says she hooked up with an alien a couple <laughs> years ago. <laughs> My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. God! That's the first time you ever got a guest, I think. <laughs> I can imagine it. I saw her. She was pretty engrossed up there. It was just a guy from Sweden. He's just dad pushed it. Yeah, pushed it. <laughs> I'm that back, accent. baby. Back to stinking. My co-host, as I said, at 2-4, is the CEO, the founder of Are You Garbage? Okay. He's an international businessman, not to be trifled in the boardroom or the boudoir. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? Nice. You, got my, you got my number today, big Ooh, man. What's up, everybody? Uh, thanks for tuning in. As always, make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are Trinaroo. cooking. Then the greatest website of all time, patreon.com. So that's you garbage. Sign up. You get episodes AYG, episodes of Hard Feelings, live streams, and the $10,000 spin should be on there by the time this airs. Mm -hmm. Check it the fuck out. Damn, you read that as fast as like those disclaimers on a, a <laughs> Pfizer commercial. I'm contractually obligated to mention Damn. the greatest website of all time, Patreon.com. We may cause liver damage. <laughs> How about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the fucking magic man. He's the best in the biz. We love him. You love him. Give it up for T-Bone McButtons, Toby Thomas Edward McMullen. What's up, dude? Damn. Three of those names were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a hot one, dude. We got one of the best in the biz, baby. We best did. I biz. said in the intro, your favorite comedian, and it wasn't a mistake. I said it on purpose because he's one of our absolute fucking favorites, gang. That's we got nice. him back here again. His family at this point, been a great advocate of us. He's a fucking good, good man. And he is going to be in Brooklyn, New York, June 11th and 12th, doing a little tapey wapey. 11th is sold out. Get tickets for the 12th, AriShafir.com. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Ari Shafir. Ari. Thank you. Look at you, Mr. Schaffer. Thank you. Thank you for cutting up your screen uh, computer <laughs> recorder for this. I appreciate it. The NSA will not know about this till it's out. Yeah. No way. Yeah. I'm not getting caught. I want to, you know, we typically ask how you're doing and stuff like that. I just met him downstairs in the lobby, breaking the fourth wall. Uh, <laughs> he, he tried to the, enter the, the kitchen of your mom's house, <laughs> the lobby. And Tootie. Uh, he tried to enter. He got stopped entering the building because he tried to enter without his shirt on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was walking. Sun's out, guns out. Law of the land. Sun's out, guns out. What are you, fucking Jeff Spicoli? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm walking by. He goes, this looks. guy wouldn't let me in. I'm like, why? Is he going to have a shirt on? I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> he's like, hey, he's like, where are you going? I'm like, uh, second floor. He's like, which uh, which uh, studio, which which office? I'm like, I don't know. I'm calm. It's like, sign in. I'm like, what? You're not making anyone else sign in. Sign in. I can't write or read. You yeah. look homeless to begin with. That you can't be true. walking that around with no shirt on. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 I didn't think of that. Jesus yeah. Christ. I have misshapen nips to the <laughs> uneven. Yeah. All yeah. you need is a hospital bracelet. Everybody stay the fuck great. away from you. Yikes. I should have been like, I'm here to see the president. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I'm not going to hurt him or anything. Yeah. He was like, do you believe this guy? Really questioning me trying to enter an office building with no clothes I almost on? said something to him on the way. And I'm like, see, I know people when I'm you like, guys came back. I'm like, he's with me. It's all uh, right. We barely get in. Are you yeah. kidding me? Oh, that's good stuff. You're a man. big shirt off guy. Sun's out, which they are two for. <laughs> Call of a homer, as it would be in Judaism. Guns out. Guns out. Yeah. He's a big hmm. guns out guy. This. He likes if you it. see my guns out, you don't even have to look up. <laughs> the sun. You out. don't have to look at the weather app. Yeah. The sun is out. Yeah. I got Bobby Kelly's kid doing it too. He's always with his shirt off, and he's like, "Sun's out, guns out, dude." Already told me. Yeah. <laughs> Has there been any place that you have decided to leave because they would not let you? 
keep your guns out. I got thrown out of Key Foods once. <laughs> uh, Dude, that's bad. Go, yeah, that's, that's the fair. lowest level that's supermarket. Uh-huh. As well. Who gets thrown out of a Key Foods? <laughs> yeah. They I've, let anything I've happen. seen goats in there. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? I was getting set for a barbecue, July 4th barbecue, and I was in there. I was like, sons were out. I mean, you know, guns were out, and I went in. I was, I think I was with Gomez, Luis Gomez, um, Luis, no middle name Gomez. And I, uh, and I went in and eventually the guy was like, sir, no, <laughs> it wasn't even like you have to. It was like, obviously not. It's like, this is not America anymore. Like, yeah. and, uh, city field. I got told to put my shirt on. I was like, I know baseball game. How long has this been a rule? And he goes, I've worked here since 74. <laughs> it's always been a rule. It's not NASCAR. Yeah, but I felt I, like back in the day, you though, could. I feel like that was prob- more of a thing. Well, when there was riots at Yankee Stadium, yeah, stuff yeah. Like that. they were a little looser People back then. People smoking cigs in the stands and shit. Yeah. Fucking families here now trying to sell corporate tickets. I yeah. went to a uh, city, uh, 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 Comiskey, not Comiskey. Uh, Fenway. Fucking, no, no, the one in Chicago, the real team in Chicago. The White Sox? No, the other one. The Cubbies. Uh, Cubs. Wrigley, 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 Wrigley Field. Field. And I was like, asked the guy, we're sitting in the bleachers. I was like, hey, I can't take my shirt off here, right? He goes, why would you not be able to take your shirt off? I'm like, oh, fucking what? Yeah, here we go. These goddamn uppity Mets. <laughs> they think they're better than us. <laughs> hey, we can take our balls out out here, right? What's the deal? Which you used to do a lot as well. You were Did a big balls, balls out? out guy. Yeah, we had this thing we did at the comedy store called Cockings, uh, where you would get- He's nuts. Yeah, you would get a distractor, someone distractor. So like, uh, so you'd come in and you'd be like, hey, uh, what's Toby's shirt? You'd go over there, look at his shirt, and I just- my balls and I just rest him on your hand. Oh. Yeah. And so he's you, got a bad bag too. <laughs> you went <laughs> You went oh it's a bad bag. I can word, reach you. I can word, reach you. Word on the street, it's a tough hang. <laughs> it's <laughs> a tough like a wet bag like of groceries. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. I got a bad sack too. Oh yeah. Big balls, low hangers. Big low hangers. Not good. You got uneven? Uh yeah, one the right side the goes down a little more. Yeah, I think one I always goes lower. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's where. Yeah, I'm a. Do you hit the water in the toilet bowl? Sometimes Ooh. on the public toilet, it's when those really low damaging. shallow ones. Yeah, and you gotta hold, now. I know you gotta <laughs> throw hold them over it your up. shoulder. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta you gotta hold them up. <laughs> yeah, like a cri- like that. a Christian hurting himself for past <laughs> sins. Repent, yeah. repent. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yikes. Yeah, that's, that's bad when you get the water touching. It's like, damn it. When the water's warm, that worries me more when it's cold. For some reason, sometimes public toilets, the water's warm. Ugh. I don't know what why. you drink it out of it? How do you do that? Because <laughs> my the testicles ball can feel it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a fucking dolphin sonar down there. Yeah, it should it. shock I tell you, you everything you want to know. <laughs> it's like a supercomputer. <laughs> Speaking of bath, we, have a, we've talked, we haven't talked about this in a while. I don't think we ever talked about it with you. How do you if you're you know if you're uh, taking a dump in public, yeah. which I feel like you don't have any qualms with, you'll go anywhere for the most part. Dude, I was on—I don't want to say whose name because they don't want to seem uppity, but I was on a private jet with a comedian. He doesn't want people knowing he takes mm. private jets, which is what well, every comedian not- should do. But anyway, <laughs> I was like, so you can just go to the bathroom with like the door open. They're like, I mean, you could, and I'm like. And I just waited till takeoff, and then oh, nice shit with the door open, open on a bathroom jet? defecation on a plane. Man, that's living. Were you invited back? I was not. Yeah, <laughs> dude. If I was spending my, if I was spending private jet money and you shit in there with the door open, <laughs> did it stink up the whole cabin? I hope. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Will you shit on a normal plane? And I have done it twice ever. Really? It's so awful. It's not great. And. So I'm shitting. I take a while. You know what I'm talking about. I got my shirt off. The (laughs) usual deal. This fucking stewardess comes in, tells me I can't have my shirt off. Knocking the door. Six, seven minutes in, whatever. Normal time. I was going as fast as I could. Knocking the door. I was like, I'm in here. Like, I'm in here. Like, you see, the thing is already listed. There's no. You have to try the doorknob. Yeah, there's no. I'm in here. Click open. She fucking went. I was like, hey, what the fuck? I I lost it. And she's like, well, I, don't, I thought the door was locked for so long. I was like, I'm taking a dump. Jeez. And I got out. I was like, what was it? She was in there a long time. I'm like, yeah, dumps take a while. <laughs> don't, a, a couple knocks before you just open it to the world. Yeah, a couple. I could have been fucking in here. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. This is the flight attendant that did this? Yeah. How long was the flight? I, be weird too long that like, I could. Yeah, I got 30 minutes up. Minute yeah, I was flying to Long Island. It was Chicago or something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait. But how do you clean a public toilet seat? Oh, beforehand. Yeah. I was like, why would I clean <laughs> yeah, that? Yeah, after. <laughs> well, I get my plunger. Yeah. That's yeah. A cleaning lady's job. I don't know what to tell you. Full wipe down on the. Are we talking about the break? The break in the toilet? In the middle? No, no, no. You know if how they, there is it doesn't go saying. all the way around. To, it doesn't go like this. It goes like that. Yeah, it you, stops in the middle. You, stops in the middle. You, you touch that? that? No. Take a. 
uh, I wipe that because there's typically a lot of pee on that. Pee and I don't want I don't want someone pubes. else's pee on my wiener. Oh. So you gotta wipe the top of that, which I'll lift up, go under a little bit, wipe the inside Pretty where good. your balls and dick might touch. Mm-hmm. Just at least inside the front, and then the whole different one, whole with water, whole seat. Where do you get the water? Sink. Smart. Yeah. Hey, Foley, why don't you give him your rundown real quick? I do something similar. <laughs> <laughs> This is well documented on this broadcast. Uh, I do something similar, but I get the water from I f- <laughs> Whole Foods <laughs> from the toilet. Come on, dude! No, no. I flush it a couple of times, and then just dab a little bit of water and it give it a run. the down. bowl. Yeah, man. There's a like fucking what seven thousand people have shit it's, in there. As soon as it comes in, it's touched the bowl. It's instantly, mm-hmm. it's but instantly wrong again. The the water yes. in the, the water in your. Uh, bathroom at home has also touched a million different uh, people's buttholes. I don't use that water to wipe. Yeah, no, that you down. act like well, you act like the we're s- using that water. The sink is right there. I, oh, I apologize. <laughs> I'd rather I'll spit on a to- like I get if a public the sink's not right there. Uh, 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 if you're in a stall, per se. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spit on it, wipe it down. <laughs> like you're fucking in prison. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I respect that more than toilet bowl water or dry before toilet bowl water. You're reinfecting it. <laughs> I know. It's a, now I need to wipe it down again. I assume that water's clean. When oh, I, you're that's crazy. The, that's the wrong assumption. If I wipe it down and I throw you throw that thing in the toilet, if a, if a drop comes back out, I'm like rewipe. I start over. That's a yeah. rewipe. Do the whole thing again. Got to do the whole thing again. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm working on it. I'll try it. <laughs> I don't believe yous. <laughs> wow. Throw a graphic in there. <laughs> that made me think of something. Have you ever been thrown out of anywhere? Out of a bathroom? No. <laughs> no. Just in general. Well, the key foods. The key foods. But other than that, without mm, the shirt. That's a good question. Let me tossed think. out of a restaurant. Have you guys? Uh, bars in bars. my, in my like yeah. heavy bars. drinking day, like you know, young tw- like yeah. early twenties. Yeah, drinking too much. Do you ever just try to do the twenty-one sh- drinks for tw- for your twenty-first birthday? Yeah, I you didn't make I, it. To, no one makes it. Yeah. Blacked out. More specifically, have you ever been banned for life from somewhere? Ooh, that's pretty good. Ooh. You got real banned for life face. I shoplift that. a lot, and you I real banned my for like principles too. You shoplift <laughs> a lot. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I'm I'm worried that one day I'm gonna walk into a Whole Foods or Seven Eleven with the picture of like this is a thief, and I'm like turn around. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> and just, like, good looking guy. Yeah. Take they got my, my friend's aunt on it where where they were like uh, they were like she's a young aunt, but like they were like hey you stole you forgot to pay for some of your things last time. She goes oh my god I'm so sorry I. I it's a mistake. I was just holding it. I didn't realize. Like, we've seen you do it eight times. Really? Like, Fuck, oh, ouch. Yeah, that's embarrassing. When was the last time you stole? Definitely this week. I don't know. This week? Uh, for sure. I was constantly. What'd you steal? Little things. <laughs> um, I don't even know. It happens so Chevy. much. It's like, it's like. Children? What are we groceries, talking about? Groceries. Uh, um, well, you could just go in and take something and walk out, or you withhold as you pay for the rest of it. As the you pay, you withhold. That's an easy one. Uh, anytime you see anything, like if I'm uh, if I'm at a sporting goods store and I'm tossing around football, I see a football and tossing around, and then I realize like, hey, no one's even looking at me right now. He walks out with a golf club, just and I could and I go and for I, a hail mm-hmm. mary out the front door. <laughs> no, because you're like this. if you, if you're not trying to hide it, if you're just like this, you yeah. know, like whatever. And then if they if they catch you on the way out, you go, oh my god, I, oh, did, I, even, I did yeah. not realize. I was in the fucking because <laughs> clearly I would have tried to hide <laughs> it, and they're like, oh, I saw. I was just walking around with it, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. Sir, please put that surfboard back. <laughs> right, 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 right. It's in a full wetsuit. Well, uh, give me an idea. A little. I things. won't steal from mom and pops. Yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Key but, foods, I'm sure you fucking go ham in there. Yeah, for sure. It, unless it's the one I have to go back to a lot, and then I'm like, this can be embarrassing and it really affect my life. You're not sliding about. meat down like the front of your shirt or anything like that, are you? Stole a nice salmon the other day. What? You stole salmon? Yeah. Nice raw salmon. $30. <laughs> fucking cooked it up fresh. Tastes better. It's Where'd got you the put it? spice on it. What? Where'd you put it? Uh, um... In his it asshole? Wasn't, no, I didn't hide it. I think under I his sack. <laughs> I think I put it underneath. It was self-check, and I put it underneath, and I just put it to the side. Mm-hmm. So yeah. did you go to the guy at the at the Airport, constantly. Airport, That's a big constantly. comic thing. Comics all steal Which, from I don't know airport. how you just do that. Do you want to get jammed neck up? Neck pillow. You, you put it on the... They're not looking. It's, they're not going to die for you. This isn't their product. They're yeah. working there. So you, you put the neck pillow <laughs> on your... <laughs> Everybody relax. Like, Give me the neck pillow. Nobody <laughs> <Yeah>. gets it. <laughs> on your roller bag, you put it on there. You shop around for other stuff. Buy some nuts. Get out of there. Or don't buy the nuts. <laughs> you got to scope Steal it. Steal the nuts. If they're staring at you, don't. Sure. The salmon. Did you walk up to the guy at the seafood counter and say, "Hey, it, give me a give me a pound of this"? Really? And then you stole it. Yeah, dude. Ah, oh, man, you did that to the seafood guy. Yeah. It's not his. I thought Whole Foods was, the, was the, we're talking about the discount. 
pull. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me the whole discount. Yeah. Steven, uh, Sam, you got the money. Wild caught. What if you got <laughs> and freshly stolen? <laughs> Kip, let's talk about Indochino. Indochino, Indochino, Indochino. Indochino. I'm sure throughout your history, you've been in some situations where you showed up dressed like a bozo. Most of the time, I've dressed like a bozo because I don't know what to buy, where to buy it, what to wear. We talk about that on the show all the time. Well, how know? would you like to have a place where you could get... Nice blazers, custom shirts, custom suits, the whole nine yards. So that way, when you show up to your cousin's christening or your nephew's wedding, mm -hmm. you don't look like a complete loser. Sure. Would I feel great, confident, enjoyed a big day without That's fussing over go. my clothes? I think I would over there at Indochino. Let's go. They sent us some clothes. I call them my fancy clothes. I walk mm -hmm. around strutting my stuff, sometimes shirt on, sometimes shirt off, maybe just the pants. I got a nice tie that I enjoy. Show off the derriere. <laughs> um, it's fantastic, guys. It takes the guesswork out of all this stuff. Listen, everybody listens. Most of us are bozos. We don't know what we're doing. If you got something coming up this summer, a wedding or whatever. You don't got to think about it. Peep out Indochino. It'll square you up. Bada bang, bada boom. Have you looking like, I don't know, a bajillion dollars. There you go. Uh, every suit is made to your exact measurements. You can customize every detail. Create a suit that fits uh, you, your style, perfectly with options for fabrics, lapel shape, custom monograms, statement linings, and more. I'm a big statement lining Go guy. big lapels. They're coming back. Yeah. Man. Real Pesci style. Yeah. Um, the best part, Indochino suits start at just $4.99 uh, and shirts at $79. $79. Indochino offer, also offers completely custom fitted shirts, casual wear, and more. Get a wardrobe personalized to your style without spending a fortune. Mm -hmm. If you got a big day coming up, getting... The perfect look is no big deal with Indochino. Get fifty dollars off any purchase of three ninety nine or more. That's cold hard cash we're talking about over here, not percentage. Money, 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 money. Fifty bucks off any purchase of three ninety nine or more using promo code garbage at Indochino.com. That's fifty dollars off a purchase of three ninety nine at I N D O C H I N O dot com. Promo code garbage. I'm back to the show. Indochino. Yeah, create diversions. I was at I was at Oktoberfest. I won one of those big bear steins. And they have people, that's obviously what you're going to steal. So they have people like, no, no, no. And me and my brother were just there. Like, we want these fucking beer steins. So we know? threw a pipe bomb in the parking yeah. lot. <laughs> <laughs> Called him anti-Semitic and got the fuck out of there. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then it was, um, yeah, there was a fight broke out. The security guards were like, no, no, no. And just fucking take off. Jesus. Yeah. It's wild. Stinky what if you got fingers. caught? Right. It's on TMZ. Ari Shafir caught stealing that would halibut. Be, he, 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 that would be an improvement from the last time he was on TMZ. <laughs> yeah, 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 true, true. <laughs> It'd be cooler. Hey, he's moving into petty crime. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've told it down. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this week, you're stealing. I'm sure. It's, like, it's a nonstop thing. Never yeah, been I, caught, huh? Not since I was like in high school or something. And even then, my sister interrupted this. She got the phone call. Hey, uh, your your son stole. And she was like, "I will talk to him." And she's like, oh. "I'm like, no, I didn't." I tried to deny it. She goes, "You didn't steal a pair of sunglasses." I was like, "No." She goes, "You think I just guessed that?" You're wearing you're I wearing them, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, with a tag still on it. <laughs> oh, where'd you get those Oakleys, Ari? <laughs> you sit back like this. Like, I don't know what you're talking. About. <laughs> Staying cool. That's a good sister, though. Have yeah. you ever ran out on a check from a restaurant? No, I've wanted to, but no. It's always like it's a, it's a check. You're like dining ditch, but no way. Yeah, yeah, I can't do that. Can't do that. Yeah. They will track you down. Yeah. Because that's happened to me. That happened to me on St. Patrick's Day. Also, uh, really? And I fucking tracked the guy. The guy ran out, fucking ran down the street. I went the other way, dropped everything. I was like, I don't give a fuck. I'm going at this guy. You're fucking. uninvolved. Huh? It's not your restaurant. No, he was work. You were I, I was waiting tables. Yeah, I wasn't just this fucking one, trying to be a hero. This wasn't this St. Patty's Day. Oh, yeah, okay, no, not okay, this St. Okay. I thought it was like two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, I was like, damn, dude, you're really getting that money from What am I, Captain America? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, ma'am. Get my ass kicked. Does it front. come out of your check when somebody bails on a check? That's what they always say. It's a rumor. It could, but it's not even that. It's the fucking, I don't want to be fucking doing this anyway. Uh -huh. You think you're fucking better than me. You're acting like a fucking dickhead. Then you fucking run out on me mm -hmm. because it happened to me 
years before this. It was like the, the, the Nolan Ryan incident. The fucking somebody charged the mound on me years before that. I ran after them. They're like, no, we left it on the counter. And I went back and it wasn't there. And I fucking. Oh, was, you fell for that? Fell for it. Why? Who runs out of a restaurant <laughs> after they've paid the bill? That's I like, was new in the industry. Wow. I don't know what to I tell you. The seller's like, we paid. He's like, where's your stamp? And you just stamp. <laughs> yeah. yeah but out. this guy, I wasn't letting go. He wore it. He was wearing a kilt, too. And wow, I fucking on the I, 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 I closed line. Because he gets caught? Like, no, you didn't. I saw you. Then you're like, it's so embarrassing. I saw a guy shoplifting from a fucking mom and pop bodega. I was coming, and I go there all the time. Mm -hmm. And I was coming in. They grabbed this guy. And he's like, let go of me. Whatever. Well-dressed, like not poor. You know, like middle-class guy. 28, 30, something like that. And he's like, I didn't say, and they tried commiserating with me. He's like, dude, I, and he goes, I have these. You don't even sell this big bag of M&Ms. They're like, what about the Doritos? What about the whatever? Yeah. And he starts commiserating with me. He's like. They just accused me for no reason. I was like, hey, man, there's zero chance that you're just going to accuse a random person of shoplifting. Of shoplifting, yeah, yeah, It's yeah. like, just give it back. And he goes, I didn't steal anything. I'm like, hey, man, you got caught. I get it. But once you got caught. right now. Don't say now anything. Just, <laughs> now he opens up his jacket. Yeah. Yeah, it's all, I, you're going to blow it for both of us, man. Yeah. But it's like, if you get caught and you still do it, that's, just, that's the same as just shoving them over and taking it. Shoplifting is a quiet crime. Sure. You're caught. You should be embarrassed and say, I'm so sorry, and walk out and never show your face again. Mm -hmm. You don't say I didn't do it. You're caught. Have some respect for the have game. Some respect. <laughs> there's a code shoplifters a, live by. Exactly. But he's just like you, just not as good. You, yeah. That could be you getting jacked up by some mom and pop. We talked about it. She's like, we see the fucking, you go around the corner, we see you hanging out there with his only apples for fucking 10 minutes and come back. We're watching you. Did you ever see that guy? That dude's they, sly. They got big on YouTube and like Instagram and stuff. The guy, the gas station guy. Fucking love him. He's, it's like a love young kid. Him. I don't even know if his family is like owns the. In, I think they're in Cleveland. And he, and people come in and steal fucking everything. And dude, he's got, he's like a master in behavior. Yeah. Oh, uh, dude, he fuck. And wow. then he, he dubs it over. It's fantastic. The look up at the camera, the hanging out here, the moving around there. Uh, and they'll really? come up and pay and they'll be like, oh, do you want to get those Skittles out of your pocket? And they're like, what the fuck? I brought these or whatever. He he's like, dude, them yeah. cold. It's great. I steal so much. You know how they say, like, if you cheat on your wife or girlfriend or boyfriend or husband, then, then, um, you start thinking they're cheating. Mm -hmm. You know, that's like a standard. Oh, yeah. So now, whenever I go into a store with like an unopened water or something like that, I'd be like, hey, before I, I go, I, I bought, I already have this. And they're like, yeah, whatever. I'm like, mm -hmm. no, no, not whatever. Yeah. I would think I stole it. Sure. Yeah, of course. I, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, thought you I made, just stole this from the store down the street. Yeah. It's mine now, though. <laughs> it's mine now. I thought you made, you thought people were stealing from you. Oh. Whole food's broken in my house. <laughs> I'm telling you. Where is that this? Produce, <laughs> yeah. That produce. That fucking fish guy came back. That huh? seafood guy's looking for mm -hmm. me. Ah, beautiful. All right, let's get into some cues. Some Patreon questions, gang. Some cues for oh, nice. Mr. Shafir. The Pages. The Page. June 11th, June 12th. The homies. Brooklyn, New York. June 11th, to Brooklyn, New York. Guys, come out. You live in New York pickets. area? Come out. See my, the guy. He's great. Come on. Fourth let's go. special, and it's my best one. Yeah? Oh, yeah. It's the one I worked on the hardest. I didn't have any, like, storytelling show editing distracting me. It was just like. Why? What happened to that? <laughs> Guys, we're having fun. We're having a good time. <laughs> that would have been great if you would have knocked it. Oh my god! I've, if I just lost. Hey, it. the clip alone. I'm on here. air. Steals the Pringles and <laughs> what leaves. What the fuck? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Take it. Skank vest flash. Uh, did you ever steal toys or anything like that when you were a kid from your other friends? Kid? Oh, when I was yeah, I did steal. <laughs> <laughs> These kids stole my nephew's back. PlayStation. Uh -huh. They can't fight back. They're weak. They think I'm an adult, so it's like doesn't make sense to them. It's like then I'm out the door. Um, Uncle Ari, have you seen our dog? No, I have not. Yeah, I stole a baseball card from this guy, George Brett rookie card. I still feel bad about it, sort of. You still have the still card? Still the have guy? it at my parents' house? No, no, long gone. But I should go back and get it and just give it back to them. Now that the bottom has dropped out of the market. <laughs> <laughs> now that it's worthless, you can yeah, have it. It was back. like seventy-five bucks back then, and then it went up to like two hundred. Now it's probably like eighty cents. I'm like, oh, hey man, I'm making it up. <laughs> That's fucking. Yeah. <laughs> give them a coin. As you know, when you sign up for the Patreon, get your questions read on the air. Now, if you don't know how to sign up, you just go over to Patreon.com, and then you enter from there. There's a search bar, and mm -hmm. put "Are you garbage?" Three mm -hmm. words, and that'll bring up. The most important Patreon podcast of all time. Mm -hmm. uh, Obama had a Patreon podcast that he did with Donald Trump for a while. That was less important than this. Yes. That's right. Didn't Obama have a podcast? He did. They, Spotify and, didn't renew it. They were like him too boring. And <laughs> him Billy and Joel? Him and Billy Joel? No. Bree Springsteen? It might have been Springsteen. It might have been. I'm he had one with a famous guy. That was yeah. Gary Busey, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the Busey. Obama and Busey. Yeah. Uh, 
Good shit. All right, let's lock into some cues here. Let's do it. Yeah, it was Bruce fucking Brinkstein. Wow. Yeah, really? Yeah, what Bruce did they Brinkstein. Talk about? Yeah, what do they talk about? I heard you like doing drone strikes. <laughs> <laughs> I was operating a strike. <laughs> my PTSD for my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the boss for not being disrespectful. <laughs> you ever been to New Jersey? <laughs> <laughs> if you ever had him on here, you should ask him like, "When's the last time you were actually in New Jersey?" He'd be like, Next question. I'm out. He just got he just got arrested for drinking and driving, didn't he? Nice dude. Still yeah. bringing it. Still Bruce? Bringing it. Yeah, imagine, in Jersey. In Jer- imagine the fucking truth. How imagine how fucked up you got to be to get pulled over by a state trooper in Jersey and oh, get arrested. Yeah, it's like what a standard that, here. Yeah, that I'm guy's gonna, getting ostracized at the fucking troop. I can tell you yeah, that. Can't be trusted. You're no. bringing you're bringing in the, the fucking, fucking boss. boss? I know. Yeah. What? What? That's the boss. I know. Are you kidding me? I sign your paychecks, He's motherfucker. The boss. I'm gonna ask you. I'm not gonna ask you. Have you ever? I'm gonna because it's obvious. I'm gonna ask you. When's the last time you drove drunk? Boom, boom, boom. High school. Maybe once, and I regretted it to this day. Never once, because I never got my license. Loophole. Fair. Loophole. That's a good Jew loophole. We'll cover that and more in Ari Shaver Jew, taping uh, June 12th and June 11th in <laughs> Roulette, Brooklyn. Uh, yeah. Hang on a second. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have some more water, please? <laughs> oh, Maybe a splash of vodka in there. Um, I haven't drove drunk in a while. I, I, I really, as a young, as a youngster, sure. a lot, too yeah. much. Um, He's talking twelve, thirteen. Folks. Yeah. <laughs> to the point where I, I like as I got older and you mature more. You, you don't mature. realize you think you're you real, you unstoppable. Think yeah, exactly. And uh, probably. Early twenties was probably the last time I really got became a pussy. I got like really scared of it. Did I'm you like, crash or anything? No, I was just like I've made it this. Far. I'm like this is my friends started getting DUIs and stuff right, like right, that. Right. That, and then that I'm is like, a nightmare. I'm fucking out, man. My dad instilled that in us very, very hard. A fucking DUI, too. never fucking do that. Right. Yeah. He's like, if you ever get a fucking DUI, I'll beat the shit out. Mine, no, not so much. Uh, you got one? No, no, I never got one. Right. But I'm just saying, we we also we that will jam, young fellas out there that will jam that'll, yeah, you the bad. fuck yeah. up. Like, Don't do it. It's it's like fifteen grand it costs you. I think, and, and then if you get a second one, you're that's it. You can't drive. You know how much that fucks your life. Less in New York than other places. But like my dad never said it because it was like assumed. Like what? Yeah. What do you? What do you? Plus everybody yeah. in the circle knows about it. Moms are talking. It's in the about paper it. for yeah. fucking crying yeah. out. You become the fucking bozo. So we don't did, do it. My buddy did get. My buddy had two, and uh, he had to have the breathalyzer installed. In his wow! Car. Wow! Uh, to start it up. To start it up, and then every like fifteen minutes, you had to blow into it as well. It just that, that's <laughs> on the road. That's on the road at all times. Yeah, it's cra- it's crazy. In the burbs, it's wild. In you the would burbs. think cops would just sit outside bars and just snag people left and right. Yeah, uh-huh. I think in beach towns they're just like, eh, it happens. Yeah, it's a little. Yeah, that's um, so where they make their money though. Yeah, but like off season in like Shelter Island. You know, they're like, it's your locals. Yeah. I yeah, assume. Yeah. I don't know. Where's Shelter Island? Just like deep, deep Long Island. Well, oh, I know where but, Shelter Island is. Yeah, but it's like the locals, are, once the, the tourists I thought he was talking about Shutter Island this whole time. <laughs> I, swear to God. I was like, that mental institution? <laughs> uh, cool. I guess I can You know Leonardo DiCaprio? <laughs> uh, yeah, Shelter Island's different. It's all locals and yeah, fucking. Well, yeah. 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 It's, it's a good vibes. That's a Key West, I imagine. Everybody's yeah, just like, like fucked. Whole... You just assume. Every... And Florida, yeah, everybody's, everybody's got up. a couple in them. It's like, don't push it. Yeah. Yeah, a couple in them. It's mm-hmm. like the normal stance. But like... A couple in them was the 80s and 90s. That's when they started saying buzz driving is drunk driving. Remember that campaign? Mm-hmm. That came out big. But then you're like, but then what's drunk driving? Then what if I'm drunk? Then what is that? Uh-huh. Is that buzz driving? No, it's different. <laughs> Shut up. It's different. <laughs> All these campaigns are like, don't tell the whole fucking story. If you don't tell everybody the whole story, then it's like, it's like these, a condom or a baby, like, or pull out and throw it on our fucking tits and not have a baby. Don't, don't act like that's not an option. <laughs> Getting the campaign slogan. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's nuts. Yeah, uh, it's 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 uh it's Sarah, uh, put your shirt back on. <laughs> the six train or six feet under. Like no no, it's the likelihood goes up. But come on. Sure sure sure. <laughs> anyway, don't drive drunk. Kids. Don't drive drunk, kids. Yes, yeah, don't, don't do. do you want. Make sure you don't have your shirt on. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we were going through a um a, a what's it called checkpoint a, a, a DUI checkpoint. No 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 no. Seatbelt. Toll, a toll. Toll. A Jersey toll or whatever. And we're we're coming back from Woodstock. Stopped in there, and we're, but you know, you get the ticket, and you have to give it back to them. This is pre-COVID. Mm-hmm. You have to give it back to them. I see how far you went, and then that's how much they charge you. And so we went. And we're like, "Where's that ticket?" We're like, "We can't find it." Mm-hmm. And you never got out of your car. We just like, can't find. And the lady's like, "All right." I'm like, "I'm sorry, miss. I can't find the ticket." 
She goes, but you got it like a few exits ago. I'm like, I know, I know. And she's like, where are you coming from? And we were just like both stoned out of our minds. And she's like, where are you coming from? And we're like, Woodstock. And she's like, I believe you. <laughs> Smoke billing yeah. out of the window. Yeah. <laughs> I can't Just find the ticket, cool, man. Yeah. Be cool, man. <laughs> I'm pulled over. I can't pull over any farther. <laughs> oh, Mr. Schaffer. That's funny as shit. All right, guys, All right. some questions. Mm -hmm. um, this is from Will. Have you or anyone in your family called it a laptop instead of laptop? I, 90% of the time, I say laptop. No. Really? Yeah, I just say... Like laboratory? Yeah, I assume... Sci back in the day, I assumed it's what scientists use to do their research. Oh, in a laptop. Laptop. Like but why do they call it top? It's on top of the lab. Like, you're in the lab. It's on top of the... I don't know, man. I'm clearly wrong, Ari. <laughs> it's a, it'd be lab desktop. Sure. No. It would be lab top. Well, how would it go? Would this you do it on the roof on top of the lab? I've ever had. No, you're right. Yeah, it'd be lab tech or lab computer if you're if it's about a lab. Yeah, it wouldn't be on top of the lab. He's right. Right. Yeah, it's like you're doing it on the roof. The top of the gate's the lab, mm -hmm. but not yeah. the lab. Yeah. So I didn't put a lot of thought in. In conclusion, you're stupid. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I've never called it that. No. Lab laptop. Yeah. My mom once said I was like upstairs she was using a computer for early and i was just like where's that file I'm like it's in the on the desktop and you know I already know it's like going pulling through i'm this. looking at it it's nowhere i'm like it's right there there's nothing on your you're so neat six things on there she's like it's by the state bar i'm like oh jesus <laughs> let me help you yeah. my mother refers to our laptop our tablet no matter what it is she calls it the ipad sure she'll call she'll call the she'll she'll say go get the ipad i'm like you don't have an ipad she's just like, anything the, the, Kindle. One, the, the, yeah. the laptop she calls wow. it an iPad. Oh, I can yeah. see another brand of 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 tablet <laughs> calling it an iPad, but sure, not okay. now. That's all she. Had. That's the technology she laptop. knows, and that's the technology she calls it. I think this was the first "Are You Garbage?" question that I passed. <laughs> <laughs> three or three True, episodes. Yeah. yeah. So you know, what I did just see that was kind of it was you were the first one. The clip came. Was somebody tagged us in the clip as you were used to microwave eggs. Yeah. yeah, that's what oh, I always talk about. That's wild, man. Not used to. No, no. I had done it. It wasn't like that was my thing. For a period of time, whether it was once or twice, you did it. Uh, all right. So, But don't say you used to do it. You have. Do you you once did it. It's different than you used to do it. Do you steal the eggs, too? You ever steal eggs? <laughs> that's too cheap. That's what you pay for. Yeah, that's, like that's the 50 loss leader. Hey, I'm only getting a dozen. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the 12 fillets in your... Or you try to open up one. That's a good idea. Open up one and in between the... like the Right in between. You put, put another, another egg. egg. Close it up. Oh, my. Who's stealing yeah. one egg? Yeah. It's for 10 cents. What are you uh, doing? Why would you risk that? When you go buy eggs, what do you buy? Carton eggs and two tubes. Of you buying like just the cheapo ones of no, one dollar ninety nine? You go not anymore because I spent a, a, a month in um, in Edinburgh a few times, mm -hmm. but you guys should do at some point. Uh, it's a comedian's fucking rite of passage, and the eggs there it's so natural. The yolks are this orange, this deep orange. Love that. And then you're and like, they're not refrigerated. Yeah, they don't they, they don't wash them off. So they just my my roommates would leave them on top. Like, hey, they're gonna go bad. Like, what do you mean? Why would eggs go bad? And That's like, the first time you see that it blows your fucking mind. It's because they don't treat them with something. They don't spray. We spray ours with something. They don't wash off the. What am I doing? <laughs> Sound <laughs> idiot. Um, that, was a, that was a good shuffle. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, and we wash ours off because they look better. But then they they have to get refrigerated. Yeah, we that. spray them with some chemical that then they have to be refrigerated. They bleach them. Yeah, the bleach eggs to sell, sell better. So now yeah. you go for the fancy ones. Yeah, so I'll go for organic or like farm raised. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, why are these yellow? It doesn't make sense. Orange. And like, I yeah. looked into it and I just felt healthier <laughs> eating them. They're cleaner. They feel yeah. cleaner. They cost a little more. They cost like 50 cents an egg instead of like 10 cents an egg. But like, that's eh, 50 cents an egg. I thought the food in Scotland everybody stayed away from. I wouldn't uh, trust the haggis. Egg. Haggis. That's like a pig's asshole or something right or dude i ate shit it's it's you don't it's like look you bury it. it in the ground it's like isn't it crazy you like it bake it in the player. head it's it's try it's like it's like intestine that they <laughs> shove full of like uh <laughs> it's delicious it's delicious though i'm so it. good it's so good i went into it like a lot of foods i'll go into try and like i'll try this so i can say i had it i'm not gonna enjoy it those un un uh developed eggs in uh like cambodia and um in the philippines you know a little baby fetus egg shut up balut Please. Really? <laughs> yeah. God and I'm you. like, I'm gonna I hate this, and I did. It's not. It's oh. it's whatever. But you like ate some a baby things. Baby chicken? Oh yeah, dude. Fetus. Jesus. The bones aren't even congealed yet, so like. Oh. Yeah. So it's like, 
It's like the the texture of like your inside. Oh, your dude, nose. stop, stop. We get it. Stop <laughs> yeah. explaining it. Oh, that, that, that's that what beak. I want. He's like, it's like this one right here. Pulls one out. When you slurp up that beak, oh, oh that beak is the and texture that. of a human nose. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. How's the nose tonight? Yikes. <laughs> Have you ever eaten dog? Uh, I think by accident once. Oh. I was that. in uh, East Timor and and, uh, and somebody told me I was like, what is what what kind of meat is this? They have these raw rooms. It's like it's like. It's it's kind of like a pizza where you can like point to the different sh- like one with that slice, and it's like that with different meats. I'm like, what is that? And they're like duck. I'm like duck. And they're like no duck. They, I mean, you know where it's going. Sure. Then I'm like, and they call it R W sometimes too. And then eventually I was like, oh, and I probably would have had it if it wasn't like left out. You know, just like sitting. Yeah, just sitting. I'm like, that's not the way I'm gonna have dog. But then another thing, I was like soup, and they were like, it's all the meats, and I'm like, fuck, I, oh. probably dog was in there. Hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. And you're a dog owner. I am a do- it was before I was a dog owner. I still have it. You got to try it. Never. This guy's nuts. You Puppy doggy, it. never. I would have to be pretty drunk and driving, but I think I could do it. <laughs> <laughs> I would kill everybody in that restaurant. Why? Because we're eating dog. You ever a cow brain? No. There was a place called Animal in, on Melrose. And, I think it was Melrose? No. It was one of those up and down streets connected to Melrose. And they had... Yeah. How about a turkey sandwich, bro? Yeah, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Pull it back a little yeah. bit. Could you grab a slice of pizza? Don't you? Aren't bro? you interested when you had some weirdo uh, food? We're like, I gotta try. Not dog. Uh, I li- can't. The dog. Yeah, but you're looking at it the way you know. They don't look at the dog that way. They don't way. look at it. Yeah, apparently. There's a. I know a travel writer. You act like we're gonna go home and eat your dog yeah. right now. That's how you're acting. <laughs> Touch my dog. <laughs> Daisy, run! <laughs> don't trust this man with no shirt on! I don't have a craving for any dog. I'm not a vampire. <laughs> hey, dude, you sicko. I'm not like a former fucking pedophile around your kids. I'm fucking... Uh, not allowed within 50 feet of any dog park. <laughs> Guy can't even walk into a petco. <laughs> <laughs> Gerbil? Oh, I had guinea pig in, in Ecuador. Oh, and I had that. That's, that's the one. dirtiest of the animal. I, it's so good. Oh, dude, it's so good. You might as well have ate cigarettes. That's just <laughs> fucking <laughs> guinea pig. You ever get a bum asking for a cigarette? You're like, no. And then he stands there watching, and you're like, ugh. And then you know he just wants to smoke the end of your butt, but yeah. you already said no, so now you got to smoke it down to the fucking yeah. filter. <laughs> hey, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that was bad. Haggis was delicious. Him. What the fuck? Yeah, I know. Smoke it down to the filter. I should have just uh, given it to him, like. I don't want to have to touch. I don't want any. I, yeah, I will I, leave it here. I'll, yeah, do, yeah. I'll do that. So I'll leave walking, it here. Wait 10 seconds. If I'm walking the streets, I'm smoking a joint. I'll pass a homeless guy and I'm, I'm almost done because I know that's their dream. Then I'll like, I'll walk by and I'll just like, as I go, I just like put it on the ground and let him see me. And then he's like, stay, man. stay, yeah. stay. Thanks, Release. Yeah. yeah. Now, if you'll excuse me, my gerbil's ready. Yeah. <laughs> I think I did that in Chicago. He was like, yeah, my gerbil's ready. I Chicago, got my you had it? No, 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 no. Oh. Just that joint where he's like, oh, that smells good. I was like, yeah. And <laughs> Must I was like, have missed that gerbil. part of town. <laughs> yeah. In the mountains of Ecuador, they have it. And it's so fucking good. But they leave the fucking mouth on. You want to insert a fucking photo? I'll show you a they photo later. They put the mouth oh, with the yeah. little teeth? Yeah. The teeth are in there. It's like smiling like this. Ah. <sighs> Oh, I like they're smiling. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, he's happy to be here. <laughs> <A> sauna. <laughs> yeah, they have spit roast them on some. It takes like a while. You got to call in ahead sometimes for the really good restaurants. It's like 30, 40 bucks too. It's like expensive there. That's like something from Star Wars, man. That's fucking wild. It's so good. It's a sustainable. Ask the dude who fucking killed himself because that date, dated that actress. Who? Who? The guy who killed himself because he, cause he fucking didn't know how fucking terrible all actresses are. The cook guy who went traveling. And Bourdain. Bourdain. Bourdain, yeah. He he went there and he was like, This is sustainable meat. It's 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 good for you. It's it's so easy to raise. You, I was wondering how we got it. from gerbils to yeah. Bourdain. Yeah. Have you ever had to kill anything yourself and eat it in your travels? Fish only, but no. Just fish. Yeah. Me and Bobby Kelly caught a fresh one and fucking pounded it, immediately fried it up. That's and fresh good. water. It was fucking good. What kind of fish? Trout? I don't know. Who 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 killed it? You or Bobby? Bobby. He sliced it open. Man's man. He's a man. He's a man. Could you do that? Could you slice those on a fish? Uh, yeah, but getting all the... Okay, I'd rather not. Mm-hmm. I'd let a guy do it. Plus, he's not going to be around much longer. <laughs> you get what I'm saying. <laughs> Don't be a bitch, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Would you kill a gerbil and eat it? <clears throat> if you they had made to do me it. crush it over the head. And, uh, because the good thing was, I'd already eaten the gerbil, and then we went to um, the um, equator line. And they have like real displays about all their cultures from the Amazon to the mountains, so all the different indigenous people there. And they have a display about gerbils, and they had gerbils there. My dog was like, what the fuck? 
But like once you see the cuteness of it, I'm like, I'm glad I had already eaten these. Yeah, you got yeah, it, yeah, I don't yeah. think I could do it for now. Sure. They're so cute. Mm -hmm. Fuck that dude. They're responsible for the Black Plague. Eat them all, man. Eat them all. It gerbils? Was, yeah, it was gerbils. gerbils. Really? Yeah, Not rats. People had that many gerbils as pets back then? It's Guess they were eating them probably, right? I don't know. Maybe. Haggis was delicious. That's another one I went into thinking, this is going to be shitty, but I have to try it. It was so good. Hmm. Late <sighs> night, fried up. That is the thing when you do go somewhere else, and if it's like late night, you got a couple in you, and it's like fried up. You're not mm -hmm. like there, and like they're hitting, they're like, oh, this is pig and test. It's just like a chunk of something. Right. You got to have it's some been, hamster. It's been deep fried. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> Let me get a side of a peanut. Or... <laughs> uh... <laughs> Yeah, oh, I, but that's that's typically when I get more. Oh uh, yeah, adventurous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what about pair? Oh, dude. So I saw uh, a guy in these team where I saw a guy stayed in this cool lodge by the whatever, um, just traveling on a moped. And I walked by this guy he's just looking up in the woods, and I'm like, uh, "What are you doing?" And he goes, "Um, hunting parakeets." And I was like, "What? Why?" He goes, "Yeah, to eat parakeets." I was like, "Cause he had this air gun." I was like, "No way." Have you gotten one? And he just lifted up his shirt. He had six dead parakeets just hanging off his belt. Yeah. Damn. Whoosh. That's wild. It's wild, but also like I get if you're used to it. I don't know. Was he a local? Yeah. Huh. He made him sound like he was from Brooklyn. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just shooting these fucking birds. Fuck yeah. you think I'm doing, dickhead? <laughs> I'm hunting toucan. <laughs> now shut up. up. <laughs> If somebody's serving you, like, they're like, hey, you're on a nice dinner, a, a guest, you're in some foreign place, and we're serving you parakeet, you're eating it. Oh, yeah, parakeet, I ain't got a problem. That's a bird. That's a chicken to me. Anything, I'm saying. What do they serve you, monkey? You're eating uh, it. That, I know, I, listen, I know my logic is flawed in this. Yeah. All animals are adorable. We shouldn't be eating animals, et cetera, et cetera. But there's just somewhere I can't do it. You I eat could, most animals. I couldn't eat a koala. I couldn't do that. I could do it. Also, I'm if saying, it's on a burger, picture yourself, maybe. At, picture yourself at like the local like mayor's house, and you're just a nice dinner, and they serve you all these things. You're like, what is that? Like, and it's that. It's koala. You're gonna not eat it in his fucking face. What am I trying to? What am I trying to get out of the mayor? Am I trying to buy some land? Nothing. Just heard you were traveling podcasters and Patreon people. Patreon.com. No, garbage. I would say no. Unless I was looking for him to play ball with something. On You'd some say kind no? Of, yeah, but I just wouldn't need it. So this is a big insult to my country. Not to, yeah, uh, that's the other thing. You want. You do want to please everybody. If it's there, you're going to go, no thanks. That's the main course. I'll, then I'll say I had dog for lunch. All right? <laughs> I, that's what I'm saying. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. <laughs> I am had about six hamsters earlier today. <laughs> they were deep fried. You should try it. I had mice for breakfast. I'm sorry, <laughs> sir. I don't mean to insult you. <laughs> get me out of here. Yeah. Uh, it depends if I was trying to get him to buy arms or something like that. If I was doing yeah. something, something shady a, for the a company. No, a no-bid contract Yeah, or something. do what I had. You got to play Yeah, 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 if you need some. What about yeah. bugs? Crickets and chill. Like they serve that in Mexico all over. I had them in uh, oh, Colombia. In Bogota, I had ants. Ants, And sure. they taste like lemon. Yeah. They do yeah. that at Noma. It's I couldn't restaurant. eat an ant. Yeah. They, they, right, they replaced it's lemons like, with it, them. It's literally like biting into a lemon. Like It's like pure lemon zest. It's They were, again, I was pretty banged up. And I was like, is this ants on the steak? He's like, yeah. And then as a joke, they brought out like a bowl of them. And I just started fucking. You're wiping them off. <laughs> kind of fucking joint instance. I got a, bo I got a, a bottle of Raid. <laughs> Jesus. What kind of rating you got here? I'm going um, to show you a video then. <laughs> ants are too cute. I couldn't eat an ant. Too cute. Too cute. What you the fuck? You talk you step on them in no time. I, 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 would, ants? I, I can't. You killed 15 ants today on the way here. No, I didn't. I here. don't kill bugs at all. That's why when you killed that spider in Chicago, I was very upset. It was me or him. And I ain't leaving. I he, like breathing. He was a mean looking dude. <laughs> yeah. That's one thing we don't need. We didn't need in the green room. That was this big spider. Uh, I got to show you guys the, the maybe the worst one. Spider? Bug you ate? Man, I... A caterpillar. This is also in Ecuador. Caterpillar. I gotta tell you. A roach. You ate a roach. Did you eat a fucking tarantula? Dude? Did you eat a tarantula, dude? A snake. I've seen tarantula in Cambodia. Have and you somebody ever eaten ate snake? them. They popped open. Rattlers. This, is, this was fucking. This is not it. But this is um, um what's it called that we caught? A uh, piranha. Piranha. You ate a piranha. See that? I would meat. eat. That's fucking. real meta. Yeah. You eating a piranha? And is that true about piranhas? Does that really happen? If you fall in, yeah, do they, they rip you apart. Yeah. In a swarm. Uh. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. They're not that aggressive. I don't think so. I it's, I think that's the movie version of yeah, it. Yeah, they're not a meth. Yeah. 
They'll get you. T-Bone, give me a couple of facts over there. Uh, this says, in truth, it is the piranhas that are routinely eaten by people. That's crazy. You can't eat fish with teeth like that. Yeah. Only if I would. It's like kissing your grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> I don't know. You never kissed your grandpa? You never kissed your grandpa? Dentures? I don't know. Uh, they, uh, they attack a lot of people in the Amazon basin, but they don't generally kill them. But they will bite the shit out of you. Yeah, they'll that jam you up. Good. Yeah, they've killed, like, they've killed a handful of people. So those are gr- grubs? What's a grub? Grub is like a beetle larva. That's Wait, the black the things? On the stick. What are the See, black things wriggling? hanging? Is that that's, the coals? That's his head. Uh, uh, oh, they're alive! They're alive and they cook them. Just a little salt and pepper. Uh, I'd have to be... Oh! Uh, that's like a fat caterpillar. It's Jesus, like a fat dude. caterpillar. It's, it's like exactly you're eating a right. Disney character. That's fucked up. No way, dude. <laughs> oh, I can feel it. Oh, look, he's still got his head sticking out. Oh, yeah, you're crunchy. a fucking the psycho, dude. Oh, just shot out. Damn, dude. Yeah. Was it good? The first one was not good, but I was like, but it had been on the grill for a bit. And this one. This <laughs> like one. My so I'm like, medium right into it. Too and, tender. And then I had it again. Oh, so this is how they are. They're just like in there. Just crawling oh, they out. just pull them out of like the trash can. Oh. <laughs> That's like larva. Oh, yeah. the way they move, they like shoot like liquid. You know what I mean? Like they like. Bloop. It's yeah. like fuck. And then man. I was like, I gotta it's try like this tremors. Again. So I did it in one of these like other towns, where Archidona, where they really pride themselves on food, and it was like, this was good. I was like, how'd you do it? Just a little salt and pepper, touch of oil, <laughs> and then just like wriggling, and then they <sighs> wriggle faster, and then wriggle slower, and stop. Oh, yeah, it's not what you put on; it's what they eat. Larvas fed very well. Yeah. One time I had some shells and cheese on mushrooms I thought were bugs. That kind of freaked me out. <laughs> what shells and cheese? Mac and cheese. <laughs> oh, shells and cheese. Damn. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, welcome back to Are You Gross? Yeah. Um, Ari is for sure. Really right <laughs> Yikes. I think this was still off the laptop question. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. Um. All right. Let's see. This is uh. This is from Kiefer. If you're cooking a frozen pizza, like personal size or okay. any size, I Mama guess. Mama Celeste. Or what are we talking about? DiGiorno? What are we talking about? Uh, Give me that. What picture. do you do? What do you do? Well, in the poor comedy days, it was Mama Celeste. Ten for ten. Yeah, ninety nine cents. Yeah. I now, how many realize. mosquitoes do you like on your pizza? <laughs> <laughs> What's the grub selection at a Key Foods? <laughs> sure, put your shirt on. <laughs> uh, okay, let's picture Mama Celeste. Okay, Mama Celeste. Okay. Um, Very trashy, by the way, but she's good. That yeah. was good. Poverty stricken. She's have good. To eat it. it was good. It was. It got they're, you by. They're all fucking good, man. They're all great. The Totino's ones, hand. the party pizzas. Totino's pizza rolls? Of course. Yeah. Yeah, bagel yeah. bites or pizza rolls? Why did I say that weird? Bagel bites or <laughs> pizza bagel rolls? Bites, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, pizza rolls back then. I get bagel bites too. Totino's got me through poverty. Yeah. That and peanut butter and jelly and just plain pasta. Do you have anything like that in your noodles. refrigerator right Damn. now? Do you no. have anything like that? No. I would never go back to that. I, if I had, I mean, you can't, you can't. What's in your fridge? You can't go that in New York. You can find pizza. Sure. At 4.30 a.m. You can sure. find pe- good pizza. So there's no reason for it. Back then in L.A. Yeah. What is in your fridge? Um, Coffee, some... Uh, a fridge, leftovers. Okay. Right, nothing. So in your freezer, there's I not like From some takeout? Totinos or nah, nothing some like super that. pretzels. Do you or have them? Like I used to have those corn dogs were really good, those microwavable corn dogs. Oh. Okay. All right. No. What? Mm-mm. No. You're a corn it's dog? It's a treat. I don't All right, like now those. we're separating. That was real hillbilly you. shit when I was growing up. Corn dogs are great. I don't think I've ever had yeah, one. Yeah, it's fair food for sure. Yeah. It's, but it's I never got fair, it. It's like, you know. This guy's it? eating boogers. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> He's eating fucking bugs. <laughs> I'd be happy to see a thing. I wish the whole thing was corn dogs when I walked into a town. Uh, <laughs> oh, imagine going, to, imagine going about? to Ari's for dinner. Yikes. Like the Temple of Doom. Can we do an Arby's commercial? We'll make it Ari's Eat and just have all brain. the fucking... <laughs> Ari's, where's the bugs? Yeah. <laughs> we got the bugs. We got the bugs. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear Vic Rames doing, doing the fucking voice. We got over. the bugs. God damn. <laughs> um, disgusting. 
<laughs> okay. What's so? What's your? Do you have a frozen pizza now or no? No, I would. You're on the road. I was on the road. So you know, sometimes they have those little like kiosks at the bottom of the uh, hotel. They get oh, you through. They get, they they get you out too. of a pinch, man. They are deadly because they got those Jimmy Dean's breakfast sandwiches that heat up just right those, in the microwave. They got the noodles and then they got the the, the thick um, soup, the what chunky, are, soup, chunky so, soup, and yeah. they got the pizzas and they got micro pot. They got. I'll come back from gorging myself at a diner, and then when you pass by, you're like, wow, let me just I need a Snickers or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got to do seven something. seven bags of gummies. I know. Because you go, I'm like, oh, I'm going to need a water for the night or whatever. So you stop and get the water, then you're there, and you're like, and you also, there's no cash transaction. You're like, put it on 403. Put it on the room. Steal from them, right? Yeah. Got to uh, steal from them. I don't. I come out, if they're not looking, I'll just go. <laughs> Dude. But we, you're staying there all weekend. What are they going to do? Oh, man. <laughs> Fight me. <laughs> I think that's where you like. You gotta fight Linda, the fucking receptionist, at the, I at the Holiday Inn Express. Nine months. <laughs> She's like, "Sir, you didn't way. pay for that." He's like, "I'm ready." And just like, <laughs> yeah, I take my shirt off. It's like, "Let's go, bitch." <laughs> I'm a man, sir. Uh, All right. So, how do you cut? How would you cut the the pizza? Is this the question? Yes. Okay. Um, you. you take it out. God bless you. Um, um, so a lot of them. This uh, the question is rooted in a lot of them come with the cardboard circle. Yeah. Yes. Do you just put it, will you put it back on that and cut it and then take your serving? So, or will you just put it on a plate, cut it, and take the whole thing yourself? I remember being able to afford, eventually, afford a pizza cutter. I want wow, one so bad. You. Yeah. It's, they're not that much, but it's, you know, poverty days. You of just course, like, yeah. can't. You just take a sharp knife and you just cut it, mm -hmm. and then you cut the, the board, too. Yeah. You know, it'll cut through. Yeah, that's how I Did, cut Will it you on. ever put it on a Stick cutting knife. board itself? No way. Yeah, that's crazy. I didn't right? have a cutting board for the longest time. Mm -hmm. Cutting boards are a pain in the ass to clean, too. Yeah. I do it right cutting on Cutting boards are a pain. They get seep in or yeah, something. The wooden the ones. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Get out of here with that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Folks, are you having trouble with bug guts on your cutting board? <laughs> Try, if, you see, if you want to see me go back into poverty, come see me sink every dollar I have into Ari Shafir Jew taping June twelfth and eleventh. Self produced, yeah, yeah, yeah. Self produced. Oh. Look at that. Get some. The last three of them. Are you nuts? Oh yeah. You do it that way, then you sell it afterwards. He or knows what he's after. doing. He's real Hollywood over he here. Knows what's going <laughs> on. It's gone to his head. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh, the cockroaches! I can eat. <laughs> yeah, you save money on cockroaches. Put that savings right into your specials. Would you ever grab a cockroach from your apartment and pop it in your mouth and eat it? Fuck you. <laughs> you think I live in a place with cockroaches? You're crazy. <laughs> that's a, dude, that's a double insult. That's a double insult. Toby's got something. Dude, uh, a girl was walking out of my building today after just meeting with the with the with the broker, uh -huh. the broker. She's walking down the street, and I walked past her, and I was like, "Do not move in that building. There's bed bugs and roaches." And it's the first time I felt like I doled out New York justice, uh, dude. Wait, how'd you know? Go. Because had I had bed fucking bed bugs and roaches, and roaches dude. Nice. Well, it was a while ago. He doesn't have them anymore. Yeah, yeah. We think. That's great. You got to tell them, but you can't tell them in front of that person because then they'll be like, we're raising your rent next time. Yo, yeah. Oh, I'm moving out, and I'm literally moving out tomorrow. Oh, great. Oh, yeah. Don't you have a, a any sort of, like, fantasy of, like, fucking over your former buildings? Like, going there with a picket sign and be like, the the, the thermostat makes noise in the winter. The, they won't tell you. They won't fix it. Uh, yeah, former buildings, former bosses, the whole nine yards. Yeah, they'll raise yeah. your rent 15%, which is what I'm going through now with these fucking cunts. 15? Yeah, like, 15? Well, we can get more than that. I'm like, I know, but I live here. <clears throat> How long have you been in this spot? One year. And I'm like, come on, man. I live here. You've never rented this site. Like, rent, rents are sky high right now. And I'm like, I can't find I my ticket, man. <laughs> <laughs> Just be cool, man. It was somewhere. Yeah, I was wearing tie dye also. <laughs> oh, my God. You got those star glasses on. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> You're like Jenny from Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I just want to go in there. Uh, yeah, I had a... Yeah. I never really had any bad uh, landlords or anything, bad bosses or whatever, but I would just end up quitting those jobs. You're like, I'm fucking, I'm fucking out of here. I remember they had me train somebody at a restaurant that I was working at like the last couple of days that I was there. And I was like, listen, man, you do what you want. Don't fucking work here. You're going to hate this place. Hmm. Yeah, you told them. Because you asked them, do they fix now stuff? you vouch for my unemployment? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. you say they fired me, right? <laughs> I'm going to need numbers, dude. <laughs> That's a different, are you either you're garbage or you're not, is if you go on wanting to get fired so you get unemployment versus wanting to be downsized so you can get a recommendation. Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. yeah. That's, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember I didn't know I was I used to work at a grocery store in high school and uh, <laughs> <laughs> things are going well. 
Uh, just quit two weeks ago. <laughs> That's, and uh, I didn't Played know I had Squid to, Games. I joined yeah. the union. They make you join the union because it was in Philadelphia. So I the I was, Baggers Union. No, it was the t- it was technically part of the, the Teamsters Baggers. the Teamsters <laughs> Union. Baggers one on one. And I was in I was in the one hour photo department already. <laughs> you had like a no no show uh, <laughs> paid. Well, it, well so. they wanted me to fuck it. They went on strike. Do it. not touch that head of lettuce. <laughs> and they were yeah. like, "What are your hours to pick it?" I'm like, "I got I got a fucking gym class later <laughs> today. What are you talking pick about? It. Pick it." I'm like, "You're paying me eight bucks an hour." Fuck How do you feel place. about Martov cocktails? Huh? Um, the only pick it I know is this nose. But I try. I went to. I was like, I'm going to get fired, and I was like, so I I showed up late, like 64 days in a row. Wow! And I was like, she's like, you've set the record for consecutive latenesses. I'm like, can you just fire me? And she goes, you're in the union. You're never going to get fired. I'm like, uh, fuck me. Wow. I didn't know. Wow. Like, yeah, they, we can't fire you. I'm like, motherfucker. Wow. Like, it's, there has to go to like a meet. You know, you have to talk to like the shop store. Then he got to talk to his boss. Well, like, can you just do it? I give you, I give you permission. I know. Yeah, I'm like, please, because my mom's like, you got to have a job. And I was just like, I'll get fired. That's it's like the the a couple of months until I find it was the summer. You know what I mean? Oh, then live off that <laughs> unemployment. It's so great. I lived off unemployment for nine years in LA. Because every time you book a commercial, it's like you're paying back in. And they're like, I would have done this every day, but they downsized me after two days. Uh, you just keep paying it. It's great. Uh, 1-800-300-5616. What's that? The number for unemployment in Los Angeles. <laughs> There's no way that's right, but it might be. <laughs> Jeez. Man. Uh, weren't you working at the store or that was under the table? Uh, that didn't. It wasn't. They paid you 25 bucks a shift. Highly illegal pay. <laughs> and, and it was just like that. So you make $25 off your... Four fifty a week, but they just tack it on to the last last hmm. seven months. This guy's scheming. I like how this is the fourth crime he's admitted to. I in know, this and the most important one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so far we have petty theft, uh, drinking and driving. Yeah. Right now. Well, it, there's a limit. Hey, have you guys ever called this this perfect statue of limitations? Statue, yeah, the statue, statue of limitations. You've had that question here, right? I I probably say hundred percent. In 100%. I know it's statute, but like I probably in conversation, like I say, laptop. I probably I also say I say library. Well, that's trash. Yeah. What about banana? What? No? No. What? 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 No one would even think it's that. Most of my family says banana. Give me a banana. Where or are they a ha- from? Or a Hamburg. I mean, if it's an accent, I get it. A what? A ham what? Hamburg. Hamburger. They what? drop off the ur? Yeah. And they throw it onto the banana? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You side it's felt, hamburger, that was good. okay? <laughs> they drop the yard over here and put it on the yard over there. <laughs> and that's why I've never been to Hamburg. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. <laughs> yeah. No, we just, it's, I wouldn't say it's an accent thing, although the accent is there and it sounds trashier with the accent. It's just the area, upstate Pennsylvania, near where, where Wisecrackers is, Wilkesbury is where, where my. There's no way you've done Wisecrackers. No. Never? No? Okay. Wisecrackers. It's, no. it's in the, yeah, no. No, 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 no. There's no way. Thought at some point. Yeah, I couldn't get booked at those places until I was past them. Okay. Yeah, this is like a, this no, is like a weekend room Ramada in lobby. Yeah, I would know. have loved those for forever, and then at some point they reached out. I'm like, I oh, know I'm not coming to your place for three hundred dollars for the week. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, like you had, I could have back then. I would have loved to when you wouldn't have had me. Yeah. Hmm. But that's where they get it from, upstate Pennsylvania. Interesting. Yeah. That's the Yinzer area, or no? That's Western. That's Yinzer. Western's Yins. What's Yins? Instead of yous, yous. Like Philly says yous. Like what uh-huh. are yous doing? Yinzer. Pittsburgh says Yins. Oof. Someone Eesh. knocking? Or do you oh, hear? So. You, would you spot a grub or something? What are you doing? No, Toby looked over there. He uh. got me. Oh, I was looking at the cameras. <laughs> oh. What are you guys on? Goofballs? <laughs> I know. What's what going the on? Fuck? This whole thing fell apart in the last three seconds. <laughs> Let's go with Tony's Patreon questions. Guys, you can submit the Patreon questions at patreon.com slash are you garbage. This guy's a consummate pro. <laughs> like uh, this Backslash. Is from, this is from Sean. Never have one read. Is it garbage to lick the lid of a condiment if you spill some on it before putting it back in the fridge? Well, you lick the nozzle. No, you wipe it with your finger like, like a sriracha. Yeah, wipe it with your finger. Lick your finger. You don't lick the. Ugh, yeah. Somebody what else is going to use that. What are you, garbage? <laughs> what about this? Let's say you have um, something that has uh, an under, like a film thing. Like a yogurt, per se. Like Sabra hummus is, is a big hummus, yogurt, uh-huh. those kind of things. Cream cheese is oh, the same the top way. thing that comes up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, you lick that. The, you lick that. The, but. Throw it away. You do. You, yeah. So if I, you had a thing of cream cheese, all right, take the lid off. It's got the foil thing. Do you rip that all the way off and throw it out, or do you 
Rip no, it just you reuse enough it. And leave it's it like your, it's like your own like. Uh, you think it's an extra barrier yeah, for you, the air? You, you, you do. Take, you, you leave take, it, but but you take it off with a knife or something. I'll leave it to reseal in a way, but but you take it off with a knife. Or Sabra is a good example. Take some bread and wipe that off. But you leave that plastic thing on there. Yeah, sure. What are you going to oh. throw it away? It's an extra chore. Yeah, I throw away. Yeah, so that's you take gross. it all the way off. Because then it falls into the yeah. old hummus, and then you're like, and it's then on the your end's fingers. sticky yeah. and it rips. No, you don't. You don't take it off like that. You don't take it off and touch the inside. You're not going and like fucking pushing it over. I know, but if you flip it back. You got to. You flip it back. It doesn't. There's see not a problem. hinge on it. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, it, it, it's. It's got dust and stuff on it. You're saying. It's just gross. No. Yeah. Because then it falls into the fucking yogurt or something like that. Do you not see what we're talking about? Seeing it. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. This is why you're eating insects, okay? <laughs> this is a problem here. <laughs> I mean, Ari is... You're from another planet, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing with the roach, what I meant was... Now, in those places, they farm those bugs. They farm... You know, they're, they're in the woods. But would you, if there was a restaurant in the city that served... New York City roaches? Anything like that. If it was that. a Michelin restaurant... If it's like you're going to a nice restaurant, we have this thing. I'm like, that's an experience. You go to sure. a Michelin. You go to a Mich a three star Michelin Mi Michelin restaurant. Is that a thing? Uh, yeah, you just got caught repeat for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> a Michelin, 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 okay. three star, Major three clue. star. And they're like, the special tonight is Subway Rat. Are you going to try that? <laughs> Are you going to try that? It's not. What Subway else is rat. on the menu? Is there a T bone? <laughs> like, wait, what? I've asked. Is it questions. a prefix? I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> would that be a move you would make? Or do you have subway to... rat? <laughs> I know it's extreme. You got to catch your own, too. Rat. I can see rat. You ever read that book, King Rat? Mm -mm. No. Well, actually, it's not a great example. <laughs> I think the, at I a know Michelin that... star restaurant, I would go, this guy is at the best. Uh, you know, right. He's the best at what he's he does right now. He's doing it on right purpose, now. yeah. Or he, he lost knows... his mind a week ago. <laughs> True. He knows better than I do. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's on the menu. And if it comes out and you don't like it, put it in the napkin. Put it under the table. You're going to like it. He's going to make it great. Yeah, that's great. what I'm saying. Sure. He knows what he's that's doing. That's the scary part. Yeah. You're going to get addicted to it. Yeah. yeah. So you know you're on the E train. Then you're one of those mole people going down there trying to get more rats. <laughs> but I, I was think obsessed with those people for a while. I've wanted to see them so much. I've never seen them. There's a really good documentary on them. Because they said you can see it from the train. So I'd always be in the very front so you can see through to the through the pass, to the driver's side. How long side. have you been working here? <laughs> and then you're like looking for them the whole way and it's never. never. Yeah. It's no, whole, well, they're, whole in they're in closed there. tunnels. So at one point, Smart. Amtrak had a set of tunnels that they then decommissioned, and they were all living in those tunnels. How many people do you think are down there, realistically? A couple hundred, for sure. Did you ever hear of the Rat King? They're bringing that back? Was that a Rat King is... With a, when a, they're all... Yeah, they're they're, all they, uh, their tails all tangled together, and then they start moving in unison. <laughs> oh, really? I don't know. That's the that's the focus. I would freak out. They probably just end up eating each other. If you were offered to be able to go down there and take a tour, I'd go. You'd go. Yeah. Wow. You want to meet him and see him and stuff. Shows up like he's going on a safari. He's you got, got the, like a yeah a lit hat. torch. Yeah. You know that you wanted. It's like who who's out there? <laughs> you get down there like Norman Cheers. They're like Ari. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got dibs on the grubs. You belong here. Yeah, exactly. We got a whole platter for you. I'm, like, oh, I'm not eating down here. <laughs> You would eat the grubs, but not I down don't there. Wanna, I don't want to be yeah. rude. <laughs> Will you eat in the bathroom? My own bathroom? Yes. Drink coffee for sure on the toilet. While you're pooping. Yeah. And what's the what's the regimen when you're pooping? That's cup not, of that's, coffee? That's not a regimen. You have an but iPad if I or have anything? a cup of coffee, uh, phone, so my laptop. Phone. Your laptop. You'll sometimes. sit there. Okay. Sometimes. Or my phone. And it really yeah. is a laptop at that point. Any magazines in your bathroom? No, but I like those days with magazines. It's yeah, better. Nice, you want, right? you want, that's a good chance for your mind to wander a little bit. It's fun. Yeah. You go through, what yeah, do you for got? Like 45 minutes, an hour. You're really? taking a Whoa. dump in a milk it. I'm taking in and out. Taking a dump at a friend's house and seeing what the mom has in there. A little in mm -hmm. style, something like that. Mm -hmm. I saw a meme that showed a, a can of like bug spray. This is what people did. This is what people read in the toilet. Oh, yeah. 100%. Before, uh, and I used to read the back uh, of shampoo Fuck all the time. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All the time. I remember reading cereal boxes, too, when I was eating my cereal. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just read something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you need to, you know. Something to do. Better days. Mm -hmm. A simpler time, yeah. one would say. All right, let's do a couple more, then we got to get Mr. Shafir out of here. Okay. Uh, this is from Eraser. Uh, first time read, did you, do you personally, have you ever personally known a hoarder? You are? Yeah, I fight it constantly. 
What do you hoard? What is your apartment like? I oh, love to see. I, no, I pictured nice something now. nice because you got a lady, don't you? It's nice now. I did an episode on my podcast, Orange Fear Skeptic Tank, a long time ago, where me and Matt Edgar and Tony Hinchcliffe and maybe Dan Madonia, I don't know, but we all dehoarded my place. Whoa! I'm like, what is this? I had a pile, and I'm not kidding. The the width longer than the width of this table, and a triangle like the pyramids that we built. Um, <laughs> oh, Aliens, oh. he means. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you all pay soon <laughs> of unopened Amazon boxes of shit that I had gotten high online and just like forgot it. I'm like why didn't why didn't you open them? I'm like I figured I'd open it later, and then they just piled up years worth. Whoa. I just wouldn't throw stuff out. I just wouldn't throw stuff out. I had un unreasonable emotional attachments to shit, mm -hmm. and then I didn't think anything of it, and then I saw that show Hoarders, <laughs> and it wasn't as bad as that. I didn't have dead cats around, but it was on that line, and I was like oh. Fuck. Yeah. Was there a smell? No. Okay. No. And so then I, yeah, anything like, like food stuff, it fell. I, I pick yeah. it up. Yeah. Okay. Um, but then it's like I was like, oh, I gotta fix this before I become like those people. Mm -hmm. So we had a dehoarding. Thing, but I, it's something I gotta fight. Did you open uh, all those Amazon boxes? Or you just yeah. Them out? Mo I had multiples of multiple things. So I had ordered just something high. high. I'm like, oh, I want that. And then I guess six months later, I'm like, oh, I want that. And then got it again without because I didn't have it yet. Right. We just did Christmas. Jeez. Christmas in July. Like, how many rhinestone belts can you yeah. need? Yeah. And yeah. everything I opened, I was like, wow, this, uh, this is awesome. Because, like, yeah, you ordered it for you. Man, yeah. past Ari's awesome. Yeah. That guy's great. All these good ideas. Oh, man. <laughs> just boxes. What about you guys? I'm bad with the mail. Yeah, and that's it pile an up. It's an anxiety thing. And once it passes the first level, like let's just have some mail, like, oh, I got to respond to that or it's a bill or whatever. The next time you get mail, you put it on top. That first one is gone oh, forever now. It doesn't matter because I've let it sit there for literally a year. We just did this because I was going through looking for W-2s and 1099s mm -hmm. and shit. I went through a year's worth of mail that I, I got to do that. I got to look to that Nothing mail. Nothing matters. I got to look to that mail. Unless they shut it off. Yeah. Like, unless right. you're like, oh, I the power got shut all off. Out. Yeah. I got a business manager because I was paying so much in late payments and the credit cards and the, and the uh, con ed and all that stuff. It's like, well, sir, do you need assistance like financially? I'm like, no, no, I'm actually doing well now. <laughs> it's just like, I'll do it later. I'll I'm do the, it later. Yeah. I'm such bill a procrastinator. Pay, I, bill pay is tough for me. I used to do that for my job. I used to pay rich people's bills. Oh, really? And uh, like billionaires. And I would forget that they, they would show up to their yeah. apartments and they'd be like, that Wi-Fi is not working. I'm like, ah, and my, I had an excuse. I'm like, ah, they were doing construction in the area. The services might be out. I'll call. And I would call them. But like, yeah, you owe 400 bucks. And I'm, like, <laughs> and I'm like, hey, they just sent a signal. Try it now. Wow. And that was like, your yeah, job. They're yeah. paying you to do it for them, and you're not even doing it. Yeah, what are you, my boss, Ari? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fair. That's a Fair. crippling phobia, though. Yeah, but the mail. My wife's like, you got to do something. I'm like, not today. I'll deal with it and tomorrow. And it gets worse and worse and worse. He's piling up. I just up, throw it all up. out at one one time. I once said I had a I had a, the tops had those baseball cards with comedians for a while, mm -hmm. and so people I didn't would know that. yeah. They Sal got it first, and then he recommended a few people, and they recommended a few people, and um, some special edition ones and some whatever. One was from a special. They're like, do you have anything special? And they add a little circle in the. In the car they put on, I put a, a shirt that I wore during a special at the comedy. Oh, uh, that's pretty cool. They cut it up, put it. In. Yeah, it is. But people would send them to you with a self-addressed stand envelope to send. You have a PO box before everybody hated me, and then um, uh, so they'd send <laughs> them. Just all so, death threats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's bombs. Yeah, you can close it. I don't need yeah, it anymore. Anthrax. Um, <laughs> yeah, and so it would just pile up. And one day I was just like, I think before I went to Ecuador, I'm like, I got it. It was like a year and a half's worth. And I just like, if you still live at this address, here it is. Here it is. And it just took like hours and signed and put them back. Damn. Feels good, though. It's it does feel good. Oh, you, yeah, you get through that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's great. Hmm. We're learning something here. Look at That's this. one of the ways the internet addicts you. I just read. It's that, that number of like, oh, you have six uh, messages or whatever. Your your mind wanting to like get order is like okay I gotta go through those to get that number gone yeah so then then it'll pop up four more and like okay I gotta get down there it's like you feel like you've accomplished something I've kind of yeah. broken that a little bit it I gets to a number that. where it breaks I used to be the person of like if it came in I had to do it I had to yeah. do it I had to do it and if, if I my wife I'm like she'd be like I have thirty two unread emails I'm like that's fucking insane to me yeah you want to order I'm like even if it's a fucking just an advertisement just open it and clear it or delete it now I'm I have multiple accounts, well over twenty thousand. Right, so then it's okay. Then I go, yeah. There's no looking back. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're in the multiverse. It's liberating. Is no difference in twenty thousand yeah. six forty four. Because yeah. I don't need to. If I look at it, I'm like, I don't care what the number is. There's a bubble there with a number. I don't Correct. care. Correct. 
it's liberating. That zero inbox is like that. You've heard of that? People mm-hmm. doing that to get to zero, like no messages. Yeah, nuts. That's nuts. the way I operated like that for really? a long time. Yeah, I didn't have a lot going on, so I wanted to feel important. <laughs> That's Bed Bath & Beyond won't get off my fucking back. Send me coupons every fucking day. <laughs> Send him an email. Can you hop on a call real quick? <laughs> All right, we got to wrap All it up. All right, guys. let's boogie. June 11th, June 12th. June 11th is sold out. June 12th, get some tickets. AriShafir.com in Brooklyn. Go fucking see him. He's the best. We love you. Love Thanks, him. Bro. Always love this podcast. I hope you guys, uh, you know. You were one of the on. early advocates of us. 100%. And we'll never forget that. Yeah. Never. This yeah. is how much weed he smokes. I saw him right after he mentioned us on Rogan. I'm like, hey, thanks a lot, man. He goes, for what? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you no, mentioned no. us on Rogan yesterday. He goes, oh, yeah. I'm like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go get a big bowl of crickets and celebrate. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.